Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. I love to use my imagination, and that's exactly what Max does on his first day of school. He daydreams about what he would do if he were the teacher. His ideas are wild and hilarious. Let's enjoy the magic of reading as we read together. If I Were the Teacher, written by Johnny Tiersma and illustrated by Ron Vanderpoel, and see what Max thinks of his new teacher. It was the first day of school and Max was already daydreaming. I wonder what this year is going to be like, he thought as he gazed out the classroom window. I hope it's not boring. I have some changes that would make this place way more fun. If I were the teacher, I know just what I would do. If I were the teacher, instead of having my students raise their hand to speak, they could raise an elbow, a knee, or even a foot. I'd use math on the daily schedule to subtract all the schoolwork and add a lot of recess. Pets get really lonely when we leave them at home. If I were the teacher, our animals would come to school with us and roam around all day. If I were the teacher, science experiments would never disappoint. They would always include explosions, implosions, and fire. I would let my students sit anywhere they want. They could sit in the back or in the front, near their friends, or even on their friends. On rainy days, we'd cancel class and head out to the field. We'd find a spot with some mud for an old fashioned slip and slide. If I were the teacher, I would help my students focus by serving them coffee. The coffee would be super strong and they could drink as much as they want. I'd celebrate my students for things that other teachers don't appreciate. We'd have awards for the sloppiest handwriting, loudest blurter, and messiest desk. My students would bring in blankets and pillows for a full-on, knockdown every kid for themselves pillow fight. Later, we'd relax in a giant blanket fort. If I were the teacher, I would still give plenty of homework. Everyone would be required to watch hours of TV and play lots of video games. No one would go hungry in my classroom because all school supplies would be edible. If you are sick of writing and need a snack, just eat your pencil. It's made of candy and now you're done with your work. Max snapped out of his daydream. Oh my, he whispered. That was out of control. It might be hard to learn in a place like that. His teacher smiled at him, and he knew it was going to be a good year of learning and fun. I'm really glad I'm in her class, he thought, sitting up a little taller. Since she's my teacher, I don't want to change a thing. If 
If you enjoyed If I Were the Teacher, be sure to check it out at your local library or buy a copy for yourself from your favorite bookstore. If you enjoyed this read aloud video, please give it a thumbs up and become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, enjoy the magic of reading.